Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today we're looking at something very interesting that I've been seeing a lot on social medias. Yeah, I was really intrigued of trying to check it out and see what it's all about because I think this will be something that I definitely will recommend if it works the way it's supposed to and they advertise us the way it is. Now this is from a company called Breach uh, Gear and basically our underwear. <laughs> but not just any underwear. Now these underwears or undergarment, whatever you want to call it, they do um, help or our gear towards EDC. So if you conceal carry uh, a lot, like every day, whatever, like you're supposed to, uh, definitely have some concerns, especially on, uh, you know, very inclined weather, like in the South where it gets real hot. And sometimes you have a holster or a firearm, just firearm in general, that has very aggressive uh, grip and rubbing against your skin all day. Doesn't feel very comfortable. And as you know, you've been following me for a long time. I do like my aggressive grips on my pistols, all my carry pistols. Not all of them like that, but I prefer have the more sandpaper type texture like the MMPs and so on. So um, if you do have a pistol that has that type of grip, and you care a lot every day, uh, you typically want to uh, wear a undershirt uh, under your, um, you know, your regular shirt that you're wearing, depending on what time of uh, weather, or even the summertime, just to kind of keep that grip rubbing against your um, undergarment uh, or your bare skin, I would say, and it just gives you a bad, uh, you know, rash, and just overall doesn't feel very well, uh, and then you have to wear, you know, another shirt in the summertime and it gets hot. So, uh, you know, it's very uncomfortable and um, just want to find a way to be more comfortable with the carry firearm where I have to wear in a, a shirt, two shirts in the summertime or whatever else. Um, so Breach Gear has come out with these type of undergarments, underwear, whatever you want to call it, which are going to come higher than your typical uh, Breach shorts or Breach underwears, as you can see here. Uh, typically, they run around right here, around your waistline, but these are going to go higher than that, and they do have an elastic band that's going to, uh, you know, be able to keep it up and not roll down, hopefully. But as you can see, breech gear, 95% cotton, 5% expandex, machine wash coal, uh, do not iron, bleach, fire softener, tumble, dry, low heat, made in China. So, there's the logo. Uh, just a typical underwear, undergarment, brief <laughs> uh, underwears. Uh, I think they do have in different colors, different, um, you know, you have to look at this chart uh, and see what is going to fit you. But let's go ahead and read some of the stuff from them uh, and just kind of give you an idea of what they're talking about. So, again, they recommend to please watch at least once to twice before wearing it. And we're going to do that. I'm going to try it on before I watch it just to see how it fits. And then after that, I'll wash it and then, um, you know, see how much. Because I said that it does shrink. Uh, so it says, wash at least once or twice before wearing. Cotton blend needs to be tightened and shrink so that midsection sits at your belly button. Uh, machine wash coil and tumble dry on low heat. Uh, the breech the breech box uh, boxer brief will shrink one and three quarters from the bottom of the leg and up to half from the top of a waistline down. The cotton will tighten and softener. Um, the, beach, the breech gear specs and assets. Now, the industry first and original mid-waisted cotton box of brief that protects you from your grip rash on your firearm from sweat. Uh, breech box of brief utilizes a four-inch high dual cotton layer that creates a soft protection Comfort barrier between you and your firearm holsters and optics. Again, 95% cotton, 5% expanded wooden blend. It's moisture wicking. Four inches of midway soft cotton dual layer comfort barrier protection. It has a four inch inseam anti roll up legs for uh, IWI holster comfort. Anti rash protection from aggressive uh, stipple grip texture protection firearm and red dot optic from your body oils and sweat. Works with any IWI or outside weight holster, regardless of care position. Can be worn as traditional underwear by wearing the cotton covered waistband at your belt line. 
So no more two, two shirts, no more grip rash on your skin, no more pulling your underwear band up, uh, no more pinch skin, high cardiac sweat guard, and no more sweats on your optics and grips, which I can relate to all of them. Um, definitely in the summertime or just in general, I do have to pull my underwear up <laughs> just to keep that, you know, that uh, grip or even just a uh, holster from rubbing against my skin. And I think this is going to be a well uh, item that you can definitely recommend if it works the way it works. I know it's going to be a little bit of time before I come back and show you how everything's worked out. Again, you need to watch this one or two times before wearing it so it will shrink uh, from the bottom uh, to the top and again it should be all right but i'm gonna try it on i'm not gonna show you <laughs> i'm not gonna show me wearing it that's for sure but i will show you on the range how it feels and kind of give you a long-term uh review of it um i only got one so it's gonna take a while <laughs> so i'm gonna wear it uh, on my days off uh you know once a week i get you know because of course hopefully i'll change your underwears at least every day <laughs> so i'm gonna wear this uh once a week a week for about a month or so try you know wear as much as possible uh maybe two months and then come back i uh, really like to test this doing more towards the summer so we'll see how what happens if not it could be before then uh when i come back with my feedback and review of this bridge gear underwear i guess you want to call it undergarment whatever you want to call it and um but yeah we'll go test it out like i said we're gonna walk try it out here right quick and then i'll give you my opinion and all my feedback on this armor all right so stay tuned all right guys so now it's a good time to show you the bridge gear uh boxer brief again this is gear for concealed carry just for a better comfort uh, moisture wig and overall just in the summertime to, if you care firearm again I usually care at three o'clock but if you care around the you know the uh, inside the waist on your appendix carry which I typically don't do that because I do have a little belly here but you know for me it's four o'clock but just to show you again this feel kind of uncomfortable here showing this but <laughs> your brief box of briefs make sure my zippers up your boxer briefs come up four inches higher than your standard, uh, you know, boxer brief on the words, whatever you want to call it. And it goes all the way around your waist. Uh, typically, it's all around the belly button. I, it comes up a little higher past my belly button. But you can see it's got a band on top here, which goes all the way around. Again, it's 95% cotton and 5% uh, spandex. And it kind of hugs around your waist. And what it does, again, it keeps you from having to worry a... Uh, tank top or another shirt under the summertime, which again a lot of people do just to get kind of a little protection from your firearm in your bare skin And basically what that does also prevent from uh, you know if you have <laughs> Body hair or whatever if you can appendix uh, or just pinching your skin and overall just all day long uh, concealed carry a firearm uh, typically the uh, the grip texture depending on how aggressive it is uh, you know it rubs in, against your skin so you you know in the summertime I, I, I typically wear you know tank top and t-shirt just to kind of give me a better comfort all day if i'm carrying a firearm uh, on my waist inside the waist so with this it's basically going to protect you uh you know from the firearm to your bare skin uh and overall it's going to be uh, more comfortable you don't have to wear another t-shirt for that's even better especially here in the south where it gets real hot and again it's just for Another layer of protection without having to put another undergarment on your top section of your body and be uh, very uncomfortable, hot, and uh, you know, if you sweat a lot, it protects the firearm uh, and the finish, and again, the most important thing, just the texture of the grip. Uh, but the only concern, or not concern, the only issue, and that's come just the preference, again, depending on your body size and very variables, uh, I do have a little bit of gut, so... You know that's where it is that bot <laughs> but anyways um the one thing i really noticed is and it doesn't do it all the time but most of the time uh it, the waistband on the very top it does have uh you know i guess come down a little bit and i have to readjust uh, again it's just maybe because 
my size body, a dominant, you know, having a little bit more space up here. <laughs> it may, uh, you know, keep from uh, uh, making it the, the top section of the waist uh, come down just a little bit. Again, you can adjust it. Another good thing, if you do bend a lot, do a lot of work and everything, you don't shine a, not show, showing your butt crack either. <laughs> so plumbers out there or workers out there that do a lot of work and, you know, bending over or whatever, that's a good thing. That's a big plus. So <laughs> you're not showing that plumber's crack. But anyways, as far as that goes, these um, boxer briefs do come in gray and black, if I'm mistaken. Uh, they do cost around 30 bucks, which, uh, you know, not too expensive, but for what you get, it's uh, another layer of protection. Again, if you can still carry it every day, uh, you know, it's just something to be more comfortable. And again, don't have to worry about your skin being have rash, your, your skin being pinched while you hold string, or your hair gets caught, or whatever it may be. And you have to worry about another garment, uh, you know, having to be in a way uh, when you reholster and makes it a lot safer in my opinion. <clears throat> but other than that, like I said, uh, to me it comes to about right here, right above my belly button, which is right here. And again, they recommend you wash it two or three times just to make sure it shrinks and, um, you know, uh, it fits you correctly. Uh, but other than that, they're comfortable. Like I said, 90% cotton, uh, 90, 90 or 95% what I say. Anyways, most of uh, it's going to be cotton and the pendex. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the only concern about the waist coming down a little bit, I think if they if they make this band a little more wider, like your standard uh, boxer brief or whatever, uh, elastic band, uh, I think it will stay it will stay in place a lot better. Also, uh, and again, this is just preference. It may not be, you know, might not be, might be a concern to others, uh, but this band right here that is in up top, uh, it's just a little bit too uh, thin for me, and it feels like, how to explain it? It feels like you have a rubber band around your waist, and it puts pressure. I mean, that's that, it's elastic band. That's going to do that. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure uh around there but it's not too uncomfortable but you can feel it and I think with a wider band maybe it'll distribute the pressure more evenly around the waist or around the chest or wherever uh, around the waist or around the abdomen what I'm trying to say uh, it will feel more comfortable and I think it will stay up there a lot better uh, if you put also some um, um, some rubber material on the back side Kind of like they do the leg straps. Uh, I think they, if they put some of that on the back side, uh, that even help a lot better in the summertime, especially if you sweat a lot. Uh, keep it from slipping back down or rolling back down, whatever it may be. But on that, I think, let me know what you think about this. Uh, is this something you would consider getting, uh, especially if you carry a firearm and just having an overall more comfortable uh, day carrying one if you have aggressive. Uh, you know, grip texture, but not just that. If you carry codex, it's not going to be digging in your skin or make, having a rash or just overall be uncomfortable all day long when you carry a firearm. But anyways, that's pretty it, guys. A <laughs> very simple video. Uh, again, like I said, no shooting, no other stuff. Just want to talk to you, give you an option. There is an option out there. If you're looking to kind of get away from carrying, uh, not carrying, but wearing extra layer of, of clothing, um, in the summertime while you're carrying a firearm and just be overall all comfortable but guys that's pretty much it but i have been wearing this uh, for the past two months it's finally starting to get warm warmer so nice t-shirt weather so like i said that will be a perfect time to care to get some of these uh boxer brief uh if you carry a firearm hi guys let me know what you think about this it's something you'll be interested in. again i'll put a link down below where you can get again bridge gear i appreciate this guy for sending <laughs> this boxer brief and i I, in my opinion, I like it. Just I want to see another iteration of a newer version about what I'm talking about, the band and everything. Maybe it'll be something uh, more comfortable as far as the band goes. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, like, share. Uh, you know what to do. Hit the notification bell because I post videos two to three a week. And if you're on the notification zone, uh, you won't be notified when new videos comes out. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit the like. That really helps. Check out the links, discount codes, all that good stuff down below. It doesn't cost you anything. And also, follow me on Instagrams, on all social medias, pretty much everywhere. 
we're uh, mostly active out on Instagram and there's a link tree where you click and check out all the discount codes all the uh, brands and everything that I have available as far as uh, discount codes and that will also help the channel alright guys as usual thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye